Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are building a new Lego Friends set today. This is the Lego Friends Emma's Photo Studio. And Emma is gonna be in charge of photographing all the Lego Friends girls' animals and immortalizing them as beautiful photographic studio shots. So let's build it up and then we can use it for this set and well, for lots and lots of other play sets too, because there are lots of other sets that tie into this one that have been released this season. So mini doll that comes with it obviously is Emma and Emma is wearing her traditional Emma outfit here. Yep, there we go. Where's her head? Here it is. Hello, Emma. I love your green eyes and your beautiful black hair. And of course, it would not be a proper friend set if she didn't have a bow. <laughs> there we go. All right, so Emma is ready. Of course, she doesn't have a camera or anything yet, but she does have Chico the cat to help her take these pictures. Now, if Emma gets a bow, then Chico also needs to have something cute too. So maybe, what's she gonna wear for this photo shoot? Maybe this little yellow flower. Let's see, a little orange flower. We've just knocked Emma over, sorry Emma. There we go, what do you think? So how does Chico look? She's so cute, look at those whiskers. Oh, I love this. I love all the new little Lego Friends animals that have been released for the beginning of this year. And each of these little Lego Friends sets also have a love heart that you make in a Lego and you can split them apart and you can share them with your best friend. So one of you each can have half each. Hold on, that makes sense. There we go. <laughs> and you can turn it into a necklace, but we won't do that at the moment. We'll just put it back. Now, if you are working with children or animals, in the studio or in the theater or in any sort of artistic endeavor, you need to have treats so that you can bribe them to do what you want them to do. So <laughs> this is gonna work really, really well for this little pussycat to hopefully do the poses that Emma needs her to do for her first photographic shoot. So if we are doing photographing, then she needs a camera and she doesn't need just any old iPhone camera. She needs a super duper SLR camera. So it's got a nice big long lens and Telescopic lens, that's a different way to put the lens on the end, that's cool. All right, so there we go. Chico, oh, Chico's run away. Treats, Chico, there we go, see? Told you that'll work. I hope it'll work. It <laughs> worked this time, doesn't always, <laughs> doesn't always work. All right, what else do we need in the photographic studio? We need some of those big umbrella lighty things. Well, we only get one really, so it's a little studio set up, just a small one. So we're going to attach our umbrella up here to reflect the light back onto the subject posed. There we are. No, yep, yep, there we go. And we can angle that so we can get the light reflection just right. All right, what else do we need for our studio? We need, we need the makeup and dressing up area, the accessories area. So for this, we're going to have a whole range of our, our standard Lego Friends accessories with the sunglasses and a little pink flower. And up here, a tiara, a little crown and a brush, obviously, because we need to get all those beautiful locks all groomed and smooth and gorgeous, ready for the photo shoot. Now, what's next? Ah, uh, I see, okay, so this big smooth area is where our photos are going to print out on. Here's the first photo. I don't remember Emma taking this shot of Andrea and her parrot. That's not gonna happen till later, till we've actually built that set with Andrea and her parrot. But here's what we're going to print today, the picture we're going to take. It's a bit preemptive. So there's the printer with all the settings and the preview of our beautiful picture that we're gonna take of Chico. So, we also have got some more photos here. Emma's been busy. Here's one that she's taken with her and Chico already. Now we're gonna do that soon. That's sitting in the printer. And one also, oh look, there's one of Mia and her little puppy. So we're gonna have to do all of these after we build the sets that these photos come with because I haven't built them yet. I'm so excited. So many new Lego friends sets to build. All right, so the printer with the fancy display on the front is ready. Now we just need somewhere to set up our photographic subjects. So first up, we need a backdrop. And this one is a lovely, lovely flowers with flower pots and big daisies. And it's Emma's even signed it down the bottom. So this might be her personal artwork as the backdrop. So we can put the animals right in front of that if we like. 
but we can set the scene even a bit more decoratively when we're finished building the rest of our little backdrop here. There, that looks good. All right, there are these two little hooks on the side, so they are a perfect place to put some more lights. What am I saying, some more lights? We haven't got any lights yet, so we're going to need some lights. So one there, one on the other side, because the umbrella is just a reflective thing in me, Bob, <laughs> for reflecting the light back onto the subject sitting in front of the backdrop. <laughs> okay, two studio lights. Very nice, we'll click them up here. One on one side, one on the other side, and we can angle them in so that they shine directly down on, on our little pussycat down there. There's a whole heap of places she can sit. We can do all sorts of poses here, but for this particular photo, there's a flower pot. Look, see, that's just like the photo on the printer. That's where we are aiming. That's what we're heading to do. Or it also comes with a little, a little round spot there, so we can sit her up high on top of the flower pot. And just to make it even more decorative, we need some more flowers for those little jumpers on the side. One on there. And one for the other side too. That looks so lovely. What a great little studio setup. What a great shot. Okay, we've got to get this shot yet though. So that's our whole studio setup. <laughs> Chico is already in there, but uh, we've got to get there first. So, all right. First up, we need to groom the subject so that Chico the cat is looking perfect. Need to choose an accessory, so sunglasses? No. Ooh, <laughs> maybe like that. You look very cool like that, Chico. No, all right, okay, so maybe pink flower. Don't I? <gasps> Crown, oh, you look very regal, but no. Back to the yellow flower, I think, because that's what our end product is supposed to look like. Okay, flower pot on, we will set the scene. Perfect, that looks great. Okay, so we need to bring this in so we can reflect that light back, bounce the light back onto our scene and set the camera up. Yes, that looks great in the viewfinder. It's all in focus. Now we just need to convince Chico to sit there. All right, oh, yep, yep, some test shots. Light balance is good. Maybe in the flower pot though. Oh, that's perfect, that is a great shot. Just a couple more, smile. Oh, hold on. Hold on, maybe a bit of a modification. Are you sure, Emma? I, I don't know, I think the orange flower on, I think the orange flower on her head was probably a bit <laughs> better, no? Okay, Emma likes that. It's quirky, it's weird, it's strange, it's funny, it's cute, I love it. <laughs> Good choice. Uh, hold on, I don't think Chico really likes that because she's run away, so might need to convince her to come back with some more treats. <laughs> Excellent idea. <laughs> and maybe now a lovely, group photo with Emma and Chico, oh, wearing matchy matchy crowns, oh, very cute, and matching purple bows, oh, how long do you think this kitty cat's going to put up with this, I don't know, oh, and matching orange flowers, you do both look adorable, oh, and Chico is out of here, I think she has had enough, <laughs> so it might be time to check these photos out, we'll print some of them out, and choose our favourite. Oh, that one's a nice one of the two of you. You look simply lovely. Oh, this is great. Emma, your photo studio is going to come in so much handy when we open some of the other Lego friend sets too. So make sure you subscribe and click like, check out some of my other silly videos, and we are going to have so many more Lego friend sets to build. <laughs> Just wait and see. I'll see you soon.